Arizona is the Grand Canyon State. Beautiful look at Grand Canyon National Park. A couple of hours drive north of the greater Phoenix area. Just a spectacular Sunday afternoon. And now a look at the University of Phoenix Stadium, which opened in 2006 and is the home of the Arizona Cardinals. Bill Belichick wearing his favorite hoodie. The number two pencil will go into his ear shortly. Stephen Hauschka will be kicking off for the Seattle Seahawks. And New England will start on offenses. Back to receive the kick is Danny Amendola. The game is a toss up. Both teams are terrific. Pete Carroll always enjoying the moment. Marshawn Lynch, what kind of a day will he have? And it's going to start with Skittles. So nothing else is new. <laughs> Might as well just be a, a preseason game in August for him. Richard Sherman ready to go to work. Injured his elbow. Earl Thomas the dislocated shoulder but both will play today as Hoshka gets ready to kick off. Super Bowl 49 underway in Glendale Arizona. We'll start with a run back by Amendola from five yards deep and to the 18 yard line he comes and that's where New England will set up shop. Tom Brady. He said to us yesterday after what's been going on over the last two weeks he said there would not be a game I would want to win more than this one. No shortage of red meat in front of Tom Brady for this one is there. He has Shane Vereen as his running back. Meanwhile now you've got Gronkowski flanked way out to the right near the sideline. Sherman on him. Brady starts from the shotgun. That's Edelman in short motion. And the first play is a pass to the outside. It's caught near the sideline, but only a minimal gain now for Gronkowski. Bruce Irvin making the tackle, second and long. Brady, sixth Super Bowl start. He's thrown 197 passes in those games, 1277 through the air, all Super Bowl records. Three wins. Two losses. And one of those losses came here after the 07 season to spoil the perfect season as the New York Giants did him in. LeGarrette Blunt is now in the backfield. Second down and eight. This is Amendola coming in motion. Short drop. Pass caught on the outside. Breaking a tackle. And coming up about two yards shy of the first down is Amendola as he gets away from Richard Sherman. And that will set up a third down and two for the Patriots. Well, clearly one of the things we talked about right off the bat is how can you handle these pass rushers? That's one way. Get them on the ground with some quick throws, and then it's Richard Sherman on the outside. We have to keep an eye on that elbow. Will he be able to tackle? Will he be able to jam the receivers the way that he typically can? In that Green Bay game, it looked like he was playing with an invisible sling. Third and two. Brady, good clean pocket throws, and that'll be the game's first first down. As Vereen, Shane Vereen makes the catch, and he's tackled there by the outside linebacker, KJ Wright. One of the things that's very difficult when you play against the Patriots, if you clear zones, you have to handle the likes of Julian Edelman and Shane Vereen with inside linebackers. Their quickness, very tough to deal with. New England can beat you either way in the divisional game against. Baltimore 53 passes and then 40 runs against Indianapolis. This is blood. The Seahawks expect them to be more balanced the Patriots today. So here is blood. He was a Patriot last year. He scored four touchdowns in a playoff game against Indianapolis. Then he signs with Pittsburgh doesn't like his role there because Le'Veon Bell was clearly the number one back. Walks off the field before the end of a game in November. And then winds up signing after he cleared waivers with New England. So he returns home and he is their stud right now because Jonas Gray, their other running back, is inactive tonight. Second down and eight. And here's Blunt. And Blunt gets it up to the 35 yard line. Right makes the defense. The Seattle defense becoming legendary right now. 
their ranks this year fewest points allowed fewest yards allowed third against the rush tops against the pass and they've been doing this for the last three seasons third and six Dan Quinn the defensive coordinator who in the next 36 hours or so will be announced as the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons but first things first for him here as New England comes up spread out five receivers play clock is down to two third and six Brady able to survey throws low and incomplete so they got one first down and now they'll have to punt Byron Maxwell covering Vereen and Seattle will get the ball. One of the things that's so important for the Patriots in this game is to force these defensive ends to run the loop go all the way around Tom Brady and then try and secure it up front to make sure that Tom Brady can step up that time a little antsy in the pocket got rid of it quickly missed the throw. Ryan Allen the left footed punter. Good high deep punt flag is down as it's taken at the 15 yard line. Jerron Johnson came in and may have run into the kicker if he ran into the kicker which is a five yard variety it's still not going to be a first down. Bill Vinovich will make the call because that's a five yard penalty it would be fourth down and one roughing the kicker is a first down. Big call here. I think he got his plant Running leg into the kicker. Kicking team number 23 five yard penalty still fourth down. All right so that's that's the, the garden variety as it were. Which means that the line of scrimmage will now be the 40 yard line another look here. The rule is if you hit the plant leg. This leg that's supposed to be 15 yards. I, I, I don't see running into the kicker right there. First down time out. Well Jerron Johnson he can smile right now but he got away with one had it been roughing the kicker it would have been a 15 yard penalty in the first down here it is again Chris so the non kicking leg when you hit that leg that's 15 yards and an automatic first down without question Bill Vinovich's call and he missed it so it would have been fourth and one New England declines the penalty they'll take the the play that was a 49 yard putt the ball is at the 16 yard line and Lynch carries beast mode up to the 20 yard line before he's tackled by half of the state of Massachusetts. Russell Wilson when he faces Super Bowl winning quarterbacks his career now three years old he's 10 and old including a win against Tom Brady when these two teams last met in Seattle early in the season in 2012 Seattle won the game coming from behind and Wilson said that really got us going. They had a good year in 12 of course they won the Super Bowl last year and this year. NFC champs again second and seven stack three receivers to the left Wilson had to reach down for the snap and that's Marshawn Lynch picking up a couple about two yards shy of the first third down and short well, one of the things that we've seen is sometimes when Max Unger the center is moving to his left the snaps go to the right they had an issue with that in the championship game and here we go with the early snap with the same issue. That's a particular input they're trying to run the read option to throw all the timing off. No doubt. Third and two. They go four wide here. And Lynch is going to get stacked up and stopped. So after Seattle gets that break and gets the ball after what should have been roughing, it's a three and out to get the ball back. Big Vince Wilfork right here. You need your superstars to play huge in the Super Bowl. There you go. He stands him up. It looks like he's bench pressing Justin Britt off of him. He makes contact, those huge arms. He extends them out, gains control, and makes a big play. John Ryan to punt. It was Ryan who was holding on a fake field goal that turned into a touchdown when they were down 16 0 to Green Bay. That was a humongous play in that game. Nose down with a lot of backspin, fairly short kick. Fair catch call for made by Edelman. Bill Belichick. Number two pencil at the ready. 
At least he's not wearing the flip flops that he wore all week long. He's got his sneakers <laughs> on today. Well, that was formal wear. Quite a, quite a scene at media day. Brady to work. Starts from the gun. From the 32. Pressure put on. Vereen with some help out in front. Takes it out to the 35 yard line. That's a short gain. Keep an eye, Chris, obviously on Cam Chancellor, who got banged up in practice the other day, hurt his knee, and wearing a brace. Yeah, and he's not a speed player anyway. He's essentially, as Bill Belichick calls him, a linebacker. He's so close to the line of scrimmage. But he is the hammer on the back end, the guy that delivers those big hits. And you just have to wonder now if he does get in man coverage situations, will he be the same? Chancellor plays down low. Earl Thomas plays deep. Now you've got Devlin in at fullback. The fake to Blunt and Brady flips it to the side for a first down. Julian Edelman taken out there by Byron Maxwell. And this is exactly the kind of game that the New England Patriots and Tom Brady wants to play here. You have to get the ball out of your hands quickly whenever you play against Seattle. As a matter of fact, Seattle in practice this week at 2.3 seconds, the coaches blew the whistle. They said you will not have any more time than that to get to Tom Brady. Eight twelve left in the opening quarter. Patriots line up Cameron Fleming a tackle as eligible. They did that 28 times in the AFC Championship game and a nice little hole here exploited by Blunt taking it across the 50 to the 49 yard line. And that'll make it second down and five for the pass. Ryan Wendell, one of their best run blockers, is going to lead the way on the power play here. And this is what the Patriots are hoping to do. They, the buzzword for them this week was control. We have to control the game. They're hoping for 30, 35 runs in this game with LeGarrette Blount. And Blount in again. Now you've got Devlin Tiger. Tiger. as the fullback. He scored a touchdown. In the championship game, Blunt says something to Devlin at the end is the snap from Brady to Blunt, and he gets gang tackled as he reaches the 48 yard line. It'll be third down and three. Tony McDaniel right in the middle for the tackle. Josh McDaniels is the offensive coordinator. He was had been in New England, remember, went to Denver. That didn't work out. Went to St. Louis for a little while, now back as the offensive coordinator. We thought he would be much in demand with the coaching vacancies, and he was, but he has chosen to stay in New England at least for another year. Third and three. Brady, a quick toss. Inside slant. Can Gronkowski get the first down? He can. Chancellor is there to make the tackle. Needed three, got four. First down, New England. Julian Edelman on the inside, just going to run out here. And there is a collision and a first down. Tom Brady never even got a chance to find the laces on that one. He didn't care. He found the big guy, number 87. One of the things we knew was going to happen is that they were going to challenge Nate Solder with that spin move inside. Two years ago, 2012, they played Chris Clemens, had a lot of success against Nate Solder with that move. Edelman in motion to the outside. Brady identifying the Mike or middle linebacker. Brady flips it again to the outside. Vereen. Shane Vereen to the 40. Boy, it's been a merry-go-rounded running back for the Patriots this year. They started with Stephen Ridley. He got hurt. Then Vereen. Then Jonas Gray came on and was spectacular for a while. Missed a meeting, and then they benched him and put in Blunt. There goes Vereen out. But watch after he catches this ball how everybody comes down three guys right there to make the tackle one of the big points of emphasis in this game is no yards after the catch if they can tackle like that all day they'll be fine here Gronkowski sets up on the right side for leverage and Blunt fighting his way trying to pick up the, those extra two yards to get the first he's about a half yard shy as he takes it inside the 35 yard line it'll be third and one that was the question in this game. Which of these big backs could control the game? Marshawn Lynch, LeGarrette Blunt. The Patriots say, we're a long drive team. We've got to be able to string these together like this. And so far in this one, they are. Off times, Brady likes to sneak. But normally, 
It's when they get to the line earlier than this. Third and one. Hands it to Blunt. Swings to the outside. Turns the corner. Picks up the first down. LeGarrette Blunt takes it to the 25 yard line. Earl Thomas with that dislocated shoulder. He told us he couldn't have played if this game been last week. Makes the stop. Bounce out all the way. They're going to come with the fullback Devlin here who's going to get that outside edge. It looked like an inside run but the whole way that was intended to go out on the edge. And there was Byron Maxwell jumped inside and picked up a big first down. Patriots four first downs in the game Seattle none they had a three and out simple play through the middle not much there taking it to the 24 yard line through the middle is blunt in postseason play the Seattle defense which is spectacular but in the regular season as you can see third in the league but in the two postseason games and those would be the games against Carolina and against Green Bay and Eddie Lacy had a big first three quarters 133 and a half second down and eight from the 24. The fake to Blunt the pass to Amendola and he has a first down. Danny Amendola makes his second catch. So far they're completely neutralizing the rush of Seattle. Here we go. Just right out in the flat. Looked like Brady gave a little look inside. Jeremy Lane bit on that. And so far this drive could not be going any better for Josh McDaniels the offensive coordinator. Exactly what he hoped for. Be able to pound it. Quick passes. Brady has missed only one pass. Eight of his first nine. The ball is at the 14. Tom again protected well throws to the outside to the 10 yard line that'll be about a four yard gain as Omanoa Nui makes the catch in the red zone the New England Patriots they've been inside the 20 yard line on 10 occasions have scored nine touchdowns and you're talking about Brady Chris look most quarterbacks obviously will be better in a clean pocket but Tom the difference between him in a clean pocket and getting contacted is enormous. Yeah. It's easy to have a clean pocket when you're throwing it after about a second and a half. <laughs> right. Too. Part of the game plan. Second and six. And it's stuffed in the backfield. The Garrett Blunt, that's Michael Bennett, number 72, a guy who, in what is pretty much a standard type of defense, they've let the guys just do their jobs. He's the one guy who moves around on the line. Right there. We'll play all five defensive line positions, and it's his quickness that is the biggest concern for Bill Belichick. And the New England Patriots. He is a guy that they are going to try and double team and hit on a secondary shot from the center or somebody else because his quickness creates real problems. They've had the ball seven and a half minutes, half the quarter, third and six. Brady dancing, and it is picked at the five yard line. Jeremy Lane still on the run, tripped up. Pete Carroll right there to salute him. So the drive ends on a third and six as Lane picks it off. And he's down. They wrapped up his left arm. That's the first interception regular season or postseason in his three years, but he pays the price as he gets carted back to the locker room. Brady under some pressure that time. That was a 13 play. 58 yard drive it took 741 ends with a pick. Hard to believe that Tom Brady just made that mistake. Under pressure yes. But really just threw that one up. New England's run 19 plays Seattle's run three. Brady. All of them runs by Lynch. This time it is Wilson looking downfield. Takes care of Ninkovich with a good fake. And there he goes, sliding to a stop at the 21 yard line. And that's where Russell Wilson can really kill you, not only with his arms, but with his legs and back and go to the interception. Well, here comes Bennett. Schofield's going to go down inside. Watch how long Bennett waits. Wait, wait, wait. Here he comes and now attacks Tom Brady. And as soon as Brady sees him, he basically tried to just lean back a little bit and threw it right into the arms of Jeremy Lane. Huge mistake. Second down and three. 
Wilson yet to throw a pass. Here's Lynch. And look at Lynch. So typical of Lynch. Turns his shoulders. They call him a split legged runner. You see how he's built. Powerful. Knocks over people. Has had some of the greatest runs we've seen in the last five years. First down here. Yeah, in the last four years, Dowens has more rushing yards, 100 yard games, or rushing touchdowns than this guy. They call him beast mode, and you see why. These are large human beings, and they simply cannot get them on the ground. You see it game after game that we do. Now Wilson with five receivers. Just a three man rush from New England and a spy on Wilson. Has time. Can't get any pressure on him. There he goes again. Looking for the first time, but coming up to make the tackle is Darrell Revis. And that is a very fast first quarter that has just come to an end. Back to Glendale. Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle DeFoya. There are your numbers through the first quarter. New England had that long drive. And that was ended when Lane picked off the pass. That's the one turnover. You know, we talked to Pete Carroll yesterday. Before we talk about that, let's go to Michelle for an injury update. Well, you mentioned Jeremy Lane. It was a costly interception, Al. He is doubtful with a left wrist injury. He has gone back for x-rays. You saw him carted back to the locker room. But that may be the only play he makes tonight, Al. All right, thank you, Michelle. Hit by Julian Edelman at the end of the play. Second down and 12. Here's Lynch. You know, Chris, we talked to Pete Carroll yesterday. I said, do you think this starts like the Hagler Hearns fight where the guys come out and just try to kill each other at the outset or is this more like you know you're parrying you're trying to feel your way through that's the way it started. Yeah these two great coaches they want to see what the other one's going to do and we've seen it in Super Bowls before somehow Bill Belichick has a way of play, playing it a little bit close to the vest but that's a huge miss right there when you're playing against a defense like that you can't turn it over when points are sitting there for you. Third and nine with five receivers out there. Wilson is under some pressure. But there he is escaping and surveying. Now we'll go back the other way. He gets a nice block. And the pass is incomplete. Downfield intended for Brian Walters. So nobody could get open. Pressure was put on fourth and nine. Well, here's the key. The Patriots are going all man to man coverage. Look across the board. There's Revis right there on Doug Baldwin. That's going to be his match throughout the course of the day. The receivers are scrambling around trying to make a play. There just was absolutely nobody open anywhere. And for Russell Wilson, he really needs to find a little rhythm throwing the ball, but so far this coverage too much. Oh, for one is Wilson. The other play was a sack. Revis got credit for a sack on the play that ended the first quarter. Now the kick here by John Ryan Julian Edelman short kick fields at the 34 does a little dance into the outside tackled after a run back of two by Brock Coyle late afternoon here at the University of Phoenix Stadium Darrell Bevel going over things with Russell Wilson and Brady starts the drive from the 35 yard line Blunt is the back and Aaron snap but he collects it. And then hits Amendola, who's now caught three, and that's the first down before Earl Thomas runs him into the Patriot bench. Well, we've seen Michael Bennett have an early impact on this game from several different places. Dan Conley unable to get his hands on him. Then in the run game, Ryan Wendell, who can't block him. And then the stunt, where he's going to come all the way around, and this pressure leads to the big interception. That was a gain of 17 on the last play. Good play fake, good play action, but good coverage on the other side incomplete. Daryl Simon makes a nice play. Brandon LaFell, the intended receiver, and Simon is in for Lane, who is most likely done for the day. So there is your new nickel. And boy, that legion of boom right now. Lane, who's kind of a, a supporting actor, is out. You've got the elbow for Sherman. you got Chancellor's knee, and you have Thomas's shoulder. Simon's got a brace there. I mean, it's that time of year, Al. You just have to wrap it on and go play. Green is the back in this set. There goes Edelman out of the slot. Brady, quick flip over the middle, caught. It's Brandon LaFell. Had a nice year, came over from Carolina. 
Played four years there, was an unrestricted free agent. Then we'll make it third down and three. Here's the change up right here. Now you see what's called a bull rush. So they set him up with a spin move inside Nate Solder. They've been outside, and that time they try to go right down the middle. So far, Nate Solder's holding up well. Solder, the only first round draft choice starting for the Patriot offense. Third and three. Brady out of the pocket. And he connects here, and that'll be a first down. Vereen to the outside, and Bobby Wegness uh, clapping his hands. Should have stopped him, couldn't, first down. Well, here's what's happening, Al. They are just basically, you know, in basketball, you clear a zone, you let a Michael Jordan or somebody go one on one. It's the same sort of thing that's happening here. Shane Vereen, they're clearing out a zone, letting him get into a zone with one of those linebackers and just try and make some adjustments, get him the ball, and allow him to break a tackle and pick up a first down. Surgical. Sherman on the outside lined up at the bottom against LaFell. Brady, good play fake, good time. Deepest pass of the day for him, and it's incomplete. Gronkowski with some contact at the end of the play, but there is no flag. It'll be second down and 10. Well, that's a good sign for Seahawk fans because here's Cam Chancellor's first shot running down the field against Gronkowski. Almost came back underneath and made the play. But so many times we see this New England offense really get a jump start when Gronkowski starts to get into the game. And so far, not a factor. You know, in all of Brady's Super Bowls, three wins, two losses on passes that he's thrown more than 20 yards from the line of scrimmage. He's one for 22. So he's been great on the short stuff. Here he hands the ball off on second down. It goes to Shane Vereen to the 35 yard line. Gain of one. It'll be third down. Well, some of the quickness now starting to show up. And for Pete Carroll, he has to be so proud of his defense. You think of what they did in that championship game against Green Bay, surviving all those turnovers. And here comes Bennett again inside. Flying through there, even when they're on the backside, you have to be ready for that quickness. Third and nine. This will be the 26th play run by New England. Seattle has won eight. Brady protected again, throws caught on the run by Edelman. He'll take the ball to about the 10 yard line. Julian Edelman gets free over the middle. On a third and nine play, that's 23 yards. So the injury showing up already here now. Jeremy Lane would be in that position. Now it's Daryl Simon and Julian Edelman too quick. So you wondered whether or not they would attack down the field against the Richard Shermans. Clearly, have, they have not tried to do any of that. But these inside routes, the quickness of those two guys, Shane Vereen, Julian Edelman, now showing up. So the second deep surge by New England. The first ended with the interception. And this is Blunt going nowhere. Gain of one to the 11-yard line. It'll be second down and nine. Well, we've got our first little tackle eligible play here. Of course, that was a big part of the conversation earlier. So you get Cameron Fleming in there. He would have been eligible. But that one's just sort of a bluff. Will they come back and have some sort of a play where he's eligible, the receiver's ineligible. We've seen them all from Josh McDaniels. Yes, we have. Fleming over two dozen times reporting as eligible against Indianapolis. Second and nine. Brady throws, caught, LaFell, touchdown. Brandon LaFell from Carolina to New England as a free agent. Makes the catch, and New England strikes first. Going right after Therold Simon. You knew it was going to happen. Hard slant inside, and then watch the tail end of this play. It is Earl Thomas that comes over, and Simon ends up holding his arm or shoulder after taking the brunt of that hit. They don't have many corners left to play, so they need all these guys to stay healthy. Gostowski for the extra point. So Brady puts Simon in the crosshairs. It's the Grand Canyon State. 
one of the younger states obviously the 48th state only Hawaii and Alaska have been in the Union a shorter period of time all right Russell Wilson ready to come back out nine first downs from New England one for Seattle total plays 28 to 8 Gustavski to kick off and Doug Baldwin will move to his right and just let it flop out of the end zone. 947 left in the half. Wilson ready to take over. Raised the Lombardi trophy last year and told us when he put it down all he could think about was doing it again the next year. Well here is next year and he's going to get sacked again for the second time at the 18 yard line. Chandler Jones comes in to take him down to make a second down to 12. I don't know exactly what happens here but Russell Okun's going to pull out and Chandler Jones is going to end up on the guard James Carpenter and Marshawn Lynch when he was coming out for the route kind of knocked Carpenter off. So so far here Russell Wilson has got nothing going at all sort of like the beginning of the championship game against Green Bay. Yep. 0 for 4 in that one four interceptions until four minutes to go in the game a quarterback rating of seven. Wilson hasn't completed a pass Brady's completed 14 to the 21 yard line goes Lynch tackled there by Jamie Collins setting up a third down and long make a third and eight. One of the really interesting moves here they're bringing Jamie Collins here to the middle of the field because they wanted to be able to go sideline to sideline with him. The feeling was that not only could he end up sniffing out the runs of Marshawn Lynch but if Russell Wilson starts to get loose on the edge he could run him down as well a very significant player in this game Jamie Collins. Eight and a half left in the half third and eight. Wilson going deep down the sideline and broken up Logan Ryan the nickel knocked it away from Jermaine curse and it's another quick three and out for the Seahawks. You're going to ask me what the storyline of this game has been so far. I will tell you the utter domination and man coverage of the Patriots coverage people all over the place. There's been nowhere to throw this football. I've been watching it on almost every play. There just is nothing there. They're spying. They're taking care of Russell Wilson in case he wants to run and the coverage people down the field are winning. Game is almost 22 minutes old and Wilson has not completed a pass. John Ryan good deep beautiful kick fielded at the 17 by Edelman runs into his own man and then runs out of room and is taken out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. It's the old adage defense wins Super Bowls. There's a list of the teams that led the league in fewest points and yards allowed and only the Chiefs in the last Super Bowl before the AFL NFL merger would have lost but they lost to the NFL's number one defense as the Vikings were number one they were the team that lost to the Kansas City Chiefs back in Super Bowl four and then the merger took place the next year uh, defense can't win anything though if your offense isn't doing anything on their side 140 to 22 the total yards crazy goodness gracious they've got Gronkowski outside LaFell is on the slot to the left when well, they start to pick on Simon again Edelman now sets up on the left side he's got three guys come out of the left side looks that way and as it batted down at the line of scrimmage it's Tony McDaniel 6 7 3 0 5 out of Tennessee batting yeah. second and ten. Yeah and I think that's a good strategy because now Brady has got them so frustrated with these quick throws you're not seeing the pass rushers of Seattle even making moves they're basically having to just go push into the offensive lineman and then try to get their hands up because there's no way they're going to get there. Three receivers are set on the left side again Brady check in the middle throws cutting over the middle is Julian Edelman they tackle him it'll be third down and three Bobby Wagner the middle linebacker who was so instrumental in the success of this team when he got healthy makes the stop. All right here's Bobby Wagner right here and what they're doing is they're running Shane Vereen out of the backfield then they're running the tight end or slot on that side up the seam. So all they're doing is clearing out an entire zone and leaving Edelman one on one with Bobby Wagner and they're winning the game with that strategy. Third and three. 
Vereen motion to the inside Brady escaping turns the shoulders in the pass was deflected and incomplete. So it's fourth down. Looked like Tom Brady was looking down the field and his receiver got knocked down. So he basically just tried to hold on to it. He saw his receiver on the ground. Couldn't tell who that was. Maybe Edelman. Every receiver is on the ground. Gronkowski and Edelman kind of ran into each other and Brady said, I better not throw this one. So that's the first three and out. Ryan Allen to punt. Brian Walters set to run it back. And it bounces at the 29 yard line. Who's here? Well, John Travolta, there he is. Kevin Hart sitting next to Will Farrell. A few jokes in that luxury suite. Mark Wahlberg loves his New England teams. Kenny Chesney looking on. Steven Tyler is also a huge Patriot fan. And we have royalty as well <laughs> from Liverpool. Paul McCartney. Now, from the 30. They start this drive to the Seahawks with Lynch and Lynch with some tough running always tough running from Marshawn up to the 35 yard line gain of five. Matt Patricia is the defensive coordinator has done a, a great job and one of these guys uh, one of these guys who maybe next year will be in line to be interviewed for a head coaching spot. So many of these runs of Marshawn Lynch when they start left they go back right. And the Patriots are kind of crashing in from that side and trying to take away that cutback lane. And it's been working pretty well so far. Let's we'll see what happens here this time. Straight ahead, but just backs his way for an extra yard, a yard and a half to set up a third down and short. Dante Hightower right here, the big guy in the middle. Just going to try and come in there, and they're just trying to occupy every single lane that there is. Just don't allow that big guy to get started because when he starts with those jump cuts, High Tower, Jamie Collins, none of them are going to get him. Third down, a yard and a half. And a whistle here. We've had a penalty free game. We had one penalty, and it was declined. Bill Vinovich will finally take the mic. Ball start. Offense number 82. Five yard penalty. Down. So a third and one becomes a third and six. That's Luke Wilson, 82, the tight end. And that's the second longest into a game without a completion. New England in Super Bowl 20 going all the way back. It's against the 85 Bears. They got their first completion with five minutes to go in the half. We have 544 here, but a third down and six now. From the 34 yard line to the outside caught can he get the first down well we'll see where they spot it they're going to give him a pretty good spot here as Browner is able to tackle curse and they're going to spot it right at the 40 and that will be a first down and desperately needed here at the top of the screen going against Brandon Browner of course a former member of the Legion of Boom does he get that thing turned over I think he does pretty good spot there. And that was a big one. You get the penalty, you get knocked at, back from a third and one, and finally Russell Wilson steps up and makes a play. So Curse catches Wilson's first completion. And now Lynch to the 45. You know, you look at these Seattle receivers, Chris, it's a, it's a funny group. I mean, they don't get a lot of headlines. None of them were drafted, none. Remember last year they had Golden Tate. He went to Detroit. They had Percy Harvin. They thought he would be a star this year for them. And then he ran his way out of Seattle and they traded him to the New York Jets. Paul Richardson, a rookie, got hurt. So all five of the guys who are receivers are free agents. Yeah, and, and they get upset when anybody says negative things about them. But here's their moment. This is when they're going to have to win the game, and Luke Wilson needs to help as well. The fake. Wilson, who's got a great arm, downfield, turning and making the catch. Twisting and turning is Chris Matthews. Another of those free agents, a guy who has played very little offense this year, but the guy who recovered that onside kick that was so huge in the NFC Championship game. And he's a big guy. I remember watching in practice the other day, 
how great Russell Wilson was at throwing the deep ball. Finally, now it gets one completion. They take a shot, and now this substitution is happening, and the referees are holding up play so they can't get that quick snap. They race to the line. Here's Lynch. And Lynch takes the ball to the seven as the crowd chants beast, at least the Seattle portion. Another catch, a look at the catch by Chris Matthews, who did not catch a pass this season. Look at that. How about that one? Arrington all over him in perfect coverage. But the one thing I love watching with Russell Wilson, not only does he throw the deep ball well, but he throws them high. He has enough strength in his arm to get it up high so a big, tall receiver like Matthews can go up and get it. Tuchel Offa was now in the game at fullback to provide leverage for Lynch. Here goes Lynch to the left side. He gets it down to the two yard line. Chandler Jones makes the tackle. It'll be third down and a long yard. Well, I tell you what, Chandler Jones just took the helmet right off of James Carpenter on that one. There is some fights going on inside in this football game. This is just man on man. Here we go, right here. <laughs> I mean, this is up and down the line. You can almost pick out any battle you want to see. Hightower, Jamie Collins, Chandler Jones. It's like that all the way up and down this line. Third and two from the three. Wilson to Lynch. Touchdown. Marshawn Lynch, who led the league in touchdowns this season with 17 13 on the ground it's all set up by the pass to Matthews and we're an extra point away from a tie game and once you get Vince Wilfork contained they get the double team on him and then we've seen it so many times Marshawn Lynch you give him a little space they hit the big pass and now the running game finally opens up and Seattle after doing nothing Answers in a big way. They got a little brawl. Helmets flying off on just about every play. Hey, we got a Super Bowl going now. Yep. You know, and just like Green Bay, you wonder, does it come back to haunt them in some way, not being able to convert early in this game? Mm -hmm. You know, Dante Hightower got hurt, and he's being assisted off the field. There's the linebacker right there. Back to the bench he goes. 216 left in a very, very fast first half. A lot of that has to do with the fact we've had only one accepted penalty and one declined penalty. Well, if you're a Patriots fan, Dante Hightower could not be more significant in this football game because of Marshawn Lynch. Hightower battling a shoulder injury for much of the season. That was a 70 yard eight play drive six rushers two passes extra point by Hauska is good I'm looking down through the hole in the roof the retractable roof they grow the grass outside and then wheel it in the grass is grown in Alabama a bunch of trucks brought it in and home of here you go home of Ken Stabler there you go oh, Foley Alabama there you go down by the Gulf. So, so much made about the footballs and where they'd be and under lock and key, and they've been well taken care of. There they are, all of them 12 and a half to 13 and a half pounds. You know, Chris, I was thinking, well, you knew Neil Armstrong. Not since Armstrong stepped on the moon have more astrophysicists been interviewed on television than this week. <laughs> I think we know all we ever need to know about pounds per square inch. I, I, I tell you, that was an interesting day with the Patriots this week, though, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I could not have been more direct with my questioning of Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, Robert Kraft. They all absolutely denied any knowledge, any involvement, any possibility, anything they said could have led to intentionally deflating those balls. And you saw Robert and Jonathan Kraft. Investigation is ongoing. But Bob Kraft put all of his chips on the table when he said he wanted an apology from the league when they found out there was nothing there. Meanwhile, Amendola, before he steps out of bounds, picks up the first down at the 31-yard line. So it all started. You you all know it. I mean, uh, unless you were I don't know someplace uh, some other planet, but the deflated footballs which they discovered at halftime. In the Indianapolis game and all of the wackiness and craziness that led up to tonight. Quarterback comparison, weird numbers. Brady with a lot of short stuff. 
And then the one pass to LaFell got him into the end zone. And then Wilson did not complete a pass until that last drive. Had the six yarder to Curse and then the 44 yarder to Matthews. Just two completions, but that set up Lynch to get into the end zone. And thus, at the two minute warning, we are knotted at seven. Well, this is when the Patriots are at their best. They led the NFL with 66 points in the final two minutes of the first half. See what they can do here. And they have all of their timeouts starting the drive from the 31 yard line. Begin on the ground. Blunt avoiding tacklers fighting his way for a first down. Gets to the 41 yard line. Let's see where they're going to mark it though. Now they're going to mark it a little bit short. Inches short. Second and inches. Now they've been starting a lot of these drives with Cameron Fleming in a tight end. That time they ran right behind him. Great drive start. Second and inches. Brady flips it quickly. That converts. Vereen gets taken down. Bobby Wagner, the linebacker, covering him on the outside. First down. Yeah, and that's what they've been doing. They've been taking Vereen right out of the backfield and then working him wide and creating some space inside so that time they finally throw it to him. Ticking down to a minute. Brady good protection deep on the outside and over the head and incomplete of Danny Amendola Byron Maxwell covering second and ten for the Patriots. Patriots the 66 points in the final two minutes of the first half. And now you want to know why Gronkowski hasn't been much of a factor. We're starting to see some of these lurk coverages where Cam Chancellor now is walking down into the middle of the field with really no responsibility number 31. And so if Gronkowski comes on one of those crossing routes he's right there to pick it up. Yep. The defense crowding the line of Sherman's going to go to the outside mirroring Edelman who gets it and then he's just tripped up after a, a short game. He had Edelman going across the formation and Sherman following him. The old jet sweep right you just turn around and it's right there and then Bruce Irvin as athletic as he is he just can't react to it that quickly. Nice to have somebody like a Julian Edelman on your team that can do so many things of course one of the big plays of this playoff run was his touchdown pass on that double pass mm -hmm. to Danny Amendola in the game against Baltimore where they erased two 14 point deficits third and three. Oh and jumping across and they whistle at Debbie's he could have gone unabated to the quarterback was Cliff Averill. So he's offside and that is a free first down. Neutral zone infraction. Defense number 56. Five yard penalty. Go third down. It just doesn't get worse than that. Mm -hmm. When you're in a third and less than five, everybody on that defensive line should be yelling, don't jump, don't jump, but don't jump. And then it's the veteran Cliff Averill, who was so big, I thought, in the game against Peyton Manning last year, but really has been a non factor so far here. Seahawks were the most penalized team in the league this season. And their opponents drew fewer penalties. It was like a two to one ratio for the Seahawks this year. Their penalties against the opposition. Costly one there. The ball at the 44 first down. Brady. Low throw but caught off the shoe tops of Shane Vereen who gets the ball to the 26 yard line. New England with all of its timeouts and they will elect to use their first right here. There we go out of the backfield again clear the space clear the zone one on one route just let them go to work. They're dropping down Earl Thomas that time in the middle of the field but he just couldn't quite get there. You're going to win that battle against a linebacker like Bobby Wagner but Earl Thomas kind of got picked off and might have been able to get there. All right, coming up on the two of the halftime report, the guys will break down the first half, tell you what each team needs to do in the second half. Two coaches who certainly know how to make adjustments. Coming up on the Toyota halftime, Bill Belichick, 
He's won more postseason games than any coach in history. 21. 20 of those with the Patriots. You forget he won one of those with the Cleveland Browns. Coach there for five years. And went to New England in 2000. You got Gronkowski matched up with Sherman at the bottom of the screen. And the pass is flipped to the outside for a short game. Vereen gets shoved out of bounds. And it will be second down. You know, one of the problems is if they keep going to these quick plays, you have the option, if you're Seattle, to maybe bring in some extra corners. But because of the injury to Jeremy Lane, really, it's their old Simon. They're all out there on the field already. So options limited. So right now the Patriots saying we're going to stay with this spread out look and all these receivers because we like the defensive backs on the field right now that they have. Meanwhile, you have Sherman. You can see him. He's in the slot. And Brady's going to throw deep down the right side for Gronkowski and a touchdown. And the earthquake spike. So you've got the linebacker covering him. And Gronkowski is able to haul it in. K.J. Wright couldn't hang with him. 22 yards for the score. Al, it's amazing is that the Patriots knew coming into this game that if K.J. Wright walked out, he was going to be about eight yards off and way inside, and that signaled man coverage. It always signals man coverage when they're in there. There was no doubt at the snap of the ball where that one was going. Gronkowski against K.J. Wright, a mismatch. Chancellor, maybe. That one won't work. A minute and 45. They went 80 yards in eight plays. Gostowski for the extra point. Well, that would figure. Most career TD passes in the Super Bowl. Joe Montana and Tom Brady, each with 11. Two tonight for Tom. Had the one mistake early, and since then, it's been razor sharp, hasn't he? Mm hmm. 20 and 27, 177. A lot of short stuff, but twice he's gone long. And it's paid off for him. LaFell and Gronkowski. Amazing that the big interception by Jeremy Lane could have actually turned the game in favor of the Patriots. He goes out, and all of a sudden they don't seem to be quite the coverage team. Great point. Lose a guy like that. Try to work around it. And now uh, this will be out of the back of the end zone. So with 31 seconds, they have all of their timeouts. Not that they'll be able to get them in with 31 seconds, but let's see if Wilson can get them into field goal range. Nate Solder right there. Handled the spin move pretty much. And then on the other side, Sebastian Vollmer going against Michael Bennett, but the ball is out of there so quickly. He knew pre-snap all he was going to do is look off the safety. It was so easy to read the coverage. And, and the one thing about the Seahawks is they don't change. They've never changed. You know which coverage they're in, and I don't think they care. Robert Turbin now in the game. Wilson is going to give it to Turbin. And Turbin's going to get free and take it out to the 39. It's a 19 yard gain. Seattle will take a timeout here. Meanwhile, back to the last drive, because how big was the jumping offside of Cliff Averill? It was a third down and three at that point. Yeah, I mean, you don't know. I mean, is it possible? That they would have picked it up anyway, possibly. But one thing you do not want to do is make anything too easy on Tom Brady. So Tom Brady, 20 of 27 after the wackiest two weeks of, of his career. 37. We all know the story. Drafted in the sixth round, he was the 199th pick. Got a chance to start in 2001 when Drew Bledsoe got hurt in the game against the Jets. That was Belichick's second year. And the rest is history. He's written most of it. 24 seconds. From the 39 now. Wilson getting away. And Wilson is out of bounds at the 45 yard line. So now you have 17 seconds. Hauschka is their field goal kicker. Good range, but Hauschka did miss three field goals in this stadium 
against Arizona in December. Jamie Collins, one of the most athletic defenders the Patriots have, could not get a hand on Russell Wilson. And the sad part about it is all the Patriots have been talking about this week in the final two minutes of the half of the game or in big moments. Believe me, Russell Wilson's going to pull the ball down and run with it. And they still get it. Let him get out. 17 seconds. They need about 10 yards or so and either a timeout or out of bounds. Wilson rolling away and then he has to throw it away. So now you get down to the math. You get 11 seconds. You can still use all of the field because you have the timeouts. Hauschka's had a good year, but Hauschka, as I said, we did a Sunday night game in here in December, and he missed three field goals. And he only missed six all year. And you just wonder. Golf, right? There's a few holes. You stand there on the tee, and you go, <laughs> I'm not feeling too good about this one. Whatever it happens, the field goal kickers do. Happened right here to Tiger Woods on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> sure <laughs> did. Second and ten now. Wilson throwing, and that'll be caught, and that'll set him up for a field goal, but a flag here. The Colonel Lockett makes the catch, but it's the first time we've had a flag in the secondary. And if it's uh, holding against the defense, they'll decline that, put him into field goal range, six seconds. You had. Personal Kyle foul. Arrington. Face mask. Defense number 25. That time will be added on the end of the run. Half the of the goal. Automatic first down. So that's at the end of the run. It gets tacked on. So if you're the Seahawks, do you dare? I mean, you have six seconds. I don't think you. I don't think you can afford it. What do you think, partner? Well, to, to go for it. I think you want to make sure you get yep. these three points out of here. But it's interesting, Al, that you've. Got we've talked about these receivers. It has been basically the backups, Ricardo Lockett and Chris Matthews, who have made the plays here in the first half. So the field goal unit came out. Now the offense comes out. Now they call a timeout. So I mean, if you think about it, to run a play in six Second. seconds, charge timeout, and then you run the risk Seattle. of nothing left timeout. on the clock, and you are going to get the ball. Seattle will. To start the second half. Well, and I'll tell you this as well. The Patriots aren't a bunch of dummies. So you're over there with six seconds. They know what do you got to do? You either got to throw a slant, you got to throw something where you catch it and throw it. So now do you want to take a chance against Bill Belichick and Matt Patricia's defense of sort of tipping your hand as to what you're going to do in this situation? We're going to try it. Yep. Very risky, very fascinating. Obviously, you can't take a sack, can't scramble around. It's got to be a catch and throw, and I'm going to guess Russell Wilson's been told unless it is perfect, yeah. throw it away. Yeah, I mean, this is like the NBA, catch and shoot time. Yeah. Get it and get rid of it. So Pete Carroll going against the grain, all things considered. Six seconds, that's the key here. Wilson. Lining up in the shotgun, and now New England's going to take a timeout. Second charge timeout. New England. So they took a look at that set. Timeout. And now Wilson will come over and discuss things uh, with the guys on the sideline. Little recap of the game Jeremy Lane with that big interception to stymie the drive, but then he got hurt. Chris Matthews who didn't catch a pass all season, a 44 yard reception. Setting up a Lynch score, then Gronkowski beats KJ Wright, pulls it in from Brady, and we get to 14 7 in that manner. You know, if you are going to take a shot here, you would think maybe Chris Matthews, here's a guy that's 6'5, 218 pounds, red zone threat, throw it up, give him a chance going against one of these smaller corners. We'll see, you got Lockett and Curse going to the right. There's Matthews at the bottom. Yep, Matthews outside. Okay. Baldwin in the slot. He's got to get rid of it in a hurry. And he does. And it's caught. Touchdown. Chris Matthews. How crazy.
another one of the Seattle free agents. You don't even hear about him until he recovers the onside kick against Green Bay. Tonight a 44 yard reception and here a touchdown reception. What a gutsy call. Yeah and, and you go OK Chris Matthews is the fourth receiver and Logan Ryan's your fourth corner. But the size differential alone at that moment said maybe Chris Matthews should be the number one guy that we cover here. What a great call there by Pete Carroll. Extra point is good. So instead of it being 14 to 10 or 14 to 7, each team with a touchdown in the final 214, and we're knotted at 14. All Russell Wilson had time to do was catch it and throw it. I'm not so sure that if he had tried to throw a fade into the back of the end zone that the clock wouldn't have expired. Instead what they do they throw a bullet back shoulder play as Logan Ryan backed into the end zone and Tom Brady the wry smile. Well it is what we thought it might be one of these <laughs> kind of games. Two great coaches gutsy calls. Wow. You, know, you know both of these teams they have their superstars. But they just add these guys. They come out of nowhere. You don't hear very much about them. New England's done this for years. And Seattle with, with Pete Carroll and their great GM John Schneider. You know people say well, how can you draft Russell Wilson in the third round. We know how that turned out. Picks up guys like Chris Matthews. What a difference it makes. Yeah and they have specific roles right. Chris Matthews one of those guys a big receiver. I bet you'd be good down in the red zone. Let's see if he can make a play. Look what happened. And a bouncing ball will be fielded at the 31 yard line. And that's Devlin who takes a knee. And that will take us to halftime with a lot coming up at the half. Seattle's going to get the second half kickoff. What a drive there. 80 yards, five plays. They ran it twice, threw it three times. It took 29 seconds for the Seahawks. Another look at the touchdown here. Just a bullet throw, back shoulder, knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. Get it up high to the 6 5. Chris Matthews, no chance for Logan Ryan. All right, so let's see what happens. There he was. Great first half, though. Gustafsky's kickoff goes through the end zone. Seattle will take over the 20 and we go to Michelle. Well I just spoke with Pete Carroll who said after the injury to Jeremy Lane they will not make adjustments in that secondary. He's happy with the players they've got. He just said we got to go beat the hell out of some other players and do what we came here to do. As for Bill Belichick he said this game is no mystery. It's a player's game. Whichever players play best in the second half will be champions and that's the way it should be. All right, thank you, Michelle. Great chess match. Two guys who have only faced each other twice before. Believe it or not, these two guys faced each other in 1994. Belichick, the head coach of Cleveland. Pete Carroll in his one year with the New York Jets. And off we go in the second half, starting with Lynch. They've done a good job bottling him up tonight. He goes to the 23 yard line, his 13th carry, but only for 48 yards. The buzz, Brady. His numbers 11 career Super Bowl TD passes including two in the first half Russell Wilson took him a long time to get started didn't have a completion until there were about five and a half minutes left in the half through that TD pass at the end Chris Matthews didn't make a single catch this year in his career fourth player to make his first catch ever in the Super Bowl third Super Bowl game of the 49 tied at the half. Lynch in the backfield give it to him march on Lynch off and running his biggest carry of the night his biggest gain out to the 40 38 yard line for a first down Carroll happy about that got to be careful you're trying to step up here and come around here and you just create a lane if you get the first linebacker blocked which J.R. Sweezy does now you get that big guy in the secondary and look out the Patriots knew that to start the second half 
The Seahawks are a team that want to come out and pound the football, and so far that's exactly what's happening. As they did against Green Bay. Now they run play action. Wilson going deep, and it's caught again. Chris Matthews. Can you believe what's going on? This is a guy working at a footlocker store when the Seahawks called him and said, come on and try out. He had to tell his boss, let me get out of work early. I have to fly up to Seattle. Well, I'll say one thing for Chris Matthews. He knows how to subtly work it. A little nudge in the back right there against Kyle Arrington, but enough for him, just a little. Got Arrington going forward, and his size is the difference. Look at the height that Russell Wilson puts on that ball. Perfect. We saw him make so many throws like that in practice. From the 17, now it's Lynch. Typical Lynch right here. Moving the pile forward. Taking it to the 10 yard line. Now this is what I love about Seattle's offensive line. They love Marshawn Lynch and at the end of play so many times you'll see the offensive lineman come down the field and sort of get on his back and start to push him almost like a rugby scrum of some kind and just push him right down the field. But if that guy gets going everything starts to work the read option the bootleg game all that starts to work for this offense Lynch out turban in Baldwin in motion fake it to him give it to turban and he'll get wrestled down a yard short of the first down spot the ball at the eight yard line. I tell, Third you, one. I tell you he's having a really nice game so far as J.R. Sweezy we have seen him right on some big blocks he's had to take on Vince Wilfork most of the night a very solid run blocker all season long and this former defensive lineman is coming out here a little angry to start the second half. You got a stack at the bottom of the screen including Matthews there. You got Lynch back in the game. It's third down and one. And Lynch is going to get stopped, and that is Rob Ninkovich. He couldn't get by Ninkovich there, and that's going to set up fourth down, and here comes the field goal group. Right off the edge, nobody blocked him. Come right down the line here, and that's just a veteran player understanding the situation. Going to give the ball to Marshawn Lynch, and he just beats him to the punch. And that sets up a 27-yard field goal attempt. For Steven Hauska. Two for two at the Meadowlands last year. And that gives the Seattle Seahawks their first lead of the night. Beautiful tonight. Roof open. Good game. 17 14. Belichick working with his defense on the sideline, and Tom Brady ready to get the ball for the first time in the second half. I think you only have to say one thing. Somebody go cover Chris Matthews. <laughs> House just kick. Results in a touchback. Doesn't get much better. Bill Belichick took over in 2000. Brady took over as the starter in 01 most NFL title games. Head coach quarterback duo go back to Otto Graham and Paul Brown Vince Lombardi of course and Mark Starr for NFL championship games and Super Bowls one and two and Brady and Belichick playing in their sixth Super Bowl. All of them have been very close. The previous five have been determined by four points or fewer. Right now we have a three point game. Early third quarter. Brady quickly to the outside and taken down is Edelman after a gain of a couple camp Chancellor right there second down and eight. There we go Cam Chancellor right over here who has been sort of the underneath coverage guy and they're trying to just isolate those big guys Edelman has been the quickness. Shane Vereen has been the quickness. And so far everything's going fine and yet they look at the scoreboard and it's 17 14 Seattle. That's Gronkowski sets up on the left side providing leverage here. Blunt can barely get out of the backfield. McDaniel is there to stop him. It'll be third down and six for New England. 
Yeah, and now comes the situation. It's big if you can get them back third and six and keep them out of those third and twos and threes because now your pass rush has a chance. But so far, it has been Tom Brady's ability to get rid of the football before that pass rush can get there that has allowed them to move the ball up and down the field. Three receivers set to the right side and one. The fell up on the left side on third and six. Showing blitz. Here they come. Brady gets knocked down but gets the pass away and Gronkowski has the first down. So Brady gets taken to the grass but gets it away and converts. It's unbelievable. Michael Bennett could not have gotten to Tom Brady any faster than this. Right around, right in on him, and he still doesn't get the pressure that he needs. Gronkowski on the outside, we've seen it already. If they're going to play man coverage, Seattle is going to lose those battles. Cam Chancellor, KJ Wright, this guy is just too good. The Anibus All Pro. Another set here with the guy lined up on the end at the right. Cameron Fleming is eligible. They run in that direction with the unbalanced line, and Blunt picks up a yard. Chancellor coming up to stuff him. Second down. Now, don't you get the feeling that the Patriots have to be a little disappointed? I think they thought they were going to have a better day running the football. They've been bringing that extra offensive lineman slash tight end in and Cameron Fleming, and they just haven't been able to establish it. So it's all Tom Brady. Definitely. And had that one drive stymied on the interception, and then to get beat by a guy named Chris Matthews who's not going to pass, and then to give up the five play 29 yard or 29 second drive at the end of the first half. Brandon Bolden is now the running back. Haven't seen him. Fake to him, and then the pass is incomplete. Brady tossing it over the middle. Pressure put on by Bennett. Was anybody in the area? He was definitely under pressure again from Michael Bennett. Here we go, right down inside, and he's going to get there again. Could this be grounding? Look at this here. Okay, pressure. Who's who's he throwing it to? Well, I. That's a good question. <laughs> That's <laughs> <still> low. <laughs> Third down and nine. Play clock at one. Brady over the middle and it's picked off at the 42 yard line by Bobby Wagner. Second interception Bobby Wagner over the middle. There's a flag on the play. The flag is up to the 41 yard line. Averill is down. Lane had the early interception and he got hurt and is after the game. You've got Averill down. You've got a penalty flag downfield. And Vinovich will let us know. In the meantime, Brady's already walking off the field. Here we go. Watch Wagner as this comes across. He goes that way and comes back. Brady thought that he had cleared Wagner when Gronkowski settled down. Wagner athletic enough to jump back underneath it for the huge play. And the penalty is after, after the, the after the play. During the return, illegal block in the back, intercepting team number 25. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Seattle keeps the ball. First down. After the pick, the penalty is on Richard Sherman for the illegal block in the back. And so that moves the ball back to the midfield stripe right on the 50 yard line with 807 left in the third and there's Sherman and Wagner. You know what Al sometimes even though you don't get the sacks if you get the hits it accelerates the process in the quarterback's mind and I think that they hurried the clock of Tom Brady on that throw. That Bobby Wagner, what a difference though. Oh, when he man. came back in the lineup, right? Under 10 points a game. Mm -hmm. This five games turf though. Picked in that same draft just ahead of Russell Wilson in 2012. Now Wilson slings one to the left man. side. Matthews again. This is just amazing. 41 yard line. He played in the CFL for two years. Was the rookie of the year in the Canadian Football League. Back in 2012. Now Brandon Browner is one of the biggest baddest corners I've ever seen in my life. And Matthews at the time just threw him off. 
I mean, these are two huge men going at it on the outside. I think they make the switch because Browner has more size. He can jump up and handle those jump balls, but now can he handle his quickness? Second and one from the 41. And Lynch to move the sticks. You know, you were talking about Chris Matthews. Daryl Bevel, the offensive coordinator, nicknamed him Hardball for Chris Matthews <laughs> of, of MSNBC, who's here at the game today. And Chris, this Chris Matthews, the Seahawks' Chris Matthews, says, I can't believe it. Every time I Wikipedia myself, it keeps coming up the other guy. <laughs> Tomorrow, he may supplant MSNBC's Chris Matthews in the number one spot. Just jump right over. He may be there right now. I would say he's trending. <laughs> he's you trending. and I are so hip, but I would say he's trending right <laughs> no now. No question. From the 38-yard line, off the pistol formation, Wilson has time. <laughs> Look how elusive he is. There's a flag down, however. There it is. You saw it at the 31-yard line. And Wilson will slide to a stop at the 21, and we'll get the call from Vinovich. I, you cannot get a hand on Russell Wilson. Uh, Holding. Defense number 39. Five yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Well, that's Brandon Browner, and that's nothing new because he draws a ton of penalties. Now, this is hilarious. Chandler Jones, look at this. Dead to rights, right? Can't even get a finger on Russell Wilson. Wilson saw it coming the whole time. He just very casually looked like he was looking downfield, but it saw him out of the corner of his eye. Then that little move of his and takes off. I, I, this guy is something special. Browner 39. There's the penalty holding on to curse and shoving him. Setting up a first down at the 18 yard line. Lynch. Still going to the four. He's just a runaway truck. Tackled by Ninkovich. Watch the move in the middle of the hole. Right in the middle of this run, I think that's Jamie Collins that came down there. He is, Al, you described him earlier as a split-footed runner. He runs with his feet so far apart, it allows him to make these lateral cuts, and people, really good tacklers, can't get their arms wrapped around him. Tukalafu's the fullback. From the four, give it to Marshawn. To the three-yard line, he goes gain a one, second and goal. The Hawks' last four drives have been touchdown, field goal, touchdown, and in progress right here. Now, here's where you really, for Tom Brady, you kind of got to just keep it together, right? Okay, you made a big mistake to start the first half. You make a big mistake here in the second half, but these two teams have played from behind during the entirety of these playoffs. No big deal. Second and goal. Play fake. The lob wide open. Touchdown, Doug Baldwin. After the Wagner interception, six plays, 50 yards. Flag went down. There'll be a celebration penalty, which will be assessed on the kickoff. Play action to get it, the run game going, but let's give credit to Doug Baldwin, a veteran Back player. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 89. 15-yard penalty on the kickoff. That sounds good. Veteran receiver knows how to use the umpire in the middle of the field to pick off the man coverage. He did it perfectly. Brilliant play by Doug Baldwin. Doug Baldwin, his first catch. Played at Stanford. There's a guy with the mother load. How about catching passes from Andrew Luck in college? And Russell Wilson is a pro. Hauschka for the extra point. Cash in. Touchdown after the turnover. We saw Richard Sherman going 24-24. Here's what he was saying. 
Who's the best cornerback in all of football? Well, part of the debate, Drell Revis, 24, just got beat. 24. That makes me number one. <laughs> you know, he's better than half the lounge acts in Vegas. I mean, he's just taking, uh -oh. he's taking interview sessions to performance art. What a character. And one heck of a player, by the way. After the penalty, the kickoff from 15 yards farther back, and Danny Amendola runs it back out to the 37. Pete Carroll took over in 2010. Head coach facing his successor and former team. Go back to Super Bowl three, one of the most important games in the history of the NFL. We Eubank beat Don Shula. It's the Joe Namath game. You go back to, to 2002. John Gruden had left Oakland for some draft choices. Bill Callahan took over, and Gruden won a Super Bowl with the team that Tony Dungy had left at that point. And Pete Carroll, one of the most competitive guys in all of football. When we asked him about it, he said, when I got fired, I don't think they realized what they were losing. And they prove prophetic here at this goal. Three years there, then on to SC. And five years now there. And Brady throws, and that pass is caught. Edelman, flag is down. Could be a hold at the 48-yard line. Vinovich will make the call Holding. right now. Office of the Coming back. Ten yard penalty. First down. Brian Stork, that's the center. Uh, right here, you can't block this guy. I, and Michael Bennett has simply taken over the football game. Got Brian Stork, a rookie in there, voted the Remington Award, best center in college football. Nobody's been able to block Michael Bennett all night. You're talking to Pete Carroll the other day, fired by the Jets, fired by the Patriots, and sometimes. You know, it's a little dicey bringing it up, and he said, my therapist tells me to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> First and 20 from the 25-yard line. Brady going deep down the left sideline and throws that one on the chalk. Intended for LaFell, we go to Michelle. Well, Seattle's starting defensive end Cliff Averill took a heavy hit. He has gone to the locker room for a concussion evaluation. Questionable with a head injury. He was escorted off the field and to the locker room by the team internist as well as the league's unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant. So on his way to that concussion protocol, Al. All right, thank you, Michelle. That means O'Brien Schofield, who wears number 93, comes in to take over that spot there. He is fifth-year guy out of Wisconsin. Played here with the Cardinals a couple of years ago. Second down and 20. And Brady will dump it off underneath Edelman looking for room. He picks up about six extra yards after he was initially stopped. Gets the ball out to the 36 yard line. It'll be third down and nine for the Pats. Well, here we go. Down the field, Brandon LaFell. Richard Sherman. Obviously, LaFell. Not even really looking for a pass. That's one of those underplays where he knows all along his job is to block. Key third and nine. Amendola comes this way and that way. And Brady will fire, and it is Amendola can't make the catch. Amendola with Wagner right there. And fourth and nine, and in comes the punting group. Amendola right here, and then I think he gets a glance at Bobby Wagner coming right for his chin strap. But that's a miss by Brady. Just had a chance there. Looked like it hit him pretty good, but maybe a little flinch. We have Wagner already with 11 tackles and an interception, and the punt cannot be saved. Strategy pretty clear for the Patriots on defense. What they wanted to do is play the four big defensive linemen up front, put Jamie Collins in the middle of the defense, and let him run sideline to sideline and make plays. He's made some pretty nice plays inside, tracking down Marshawn Lynch. But it was the play right before the half that really made the difference. He did not get the proper leverage on Russell Wilson. 
Wilson's quickness has been a factor all night. And that one right there set up that touchdown right before the half. Big, big, big mistake. Lynch has carried for 88 yards. Wilson only three carries, but for 39. Look at the time he has. And then caught up at the 45 yard line. Ricardo Lockett making the grab. That's a gain of 25 yards. Ricardo Lockett kind of makes me laugh. So they go the bootleg play out of here and watch Russell Wilson. They say he doesn't read defenses by foot. He must have looked at four different receivers on that play until he finally comes all the way across back to the backside. Russell Wilson is getting very comfortable. Three touchdowns and a field goal last four drives. After no yards, no completions in the first quarter and most of the second period. Lynch, two tough yards, two and a half minutes remaining in the third. You know, it's, you watch a player like Chandler Jones have a free shot like he had on that play against Marshawn Lynch, and he barely slowed him down. I, I, you know, and as you get into the second half, defenses and defenders, especially the big guys, get tired. And Marshawn Lynch, if you're tired, he's hard enough when you're fresh. You're tired, it gets really difficult. A lot of speculation as to whether they'll keep him, whether they can afford him, and some speculation that they're ready to make a big long-term deal with him going forward. Catch made on the outside. That's Jermaine Curse. Malcolm Butler makes the tackle. Curse, uh, the big hero at the end of the game against Green Bay with the overtime catch. His only catch of that game after he'd been targeted six times. All four Wilson interceptions were on passes intended for him. The other one was incomplete. How about, how about a guy that had the game-winning touchdown in back-to-back -back championship games? Amazing. Right? NFC <laughs> championship games against San Francisco on that fourth down play the year before. Comes right back with another one. And how about a quarterback who keeps going to a guy who keeps getting intercepted every time he's targeted? Third and three. Wilson surveys. And it is bobbled and dropped. That time it's curse again. Malcolm Butler, one of the extra defensive backs, comes in to help break it up. It'll be fourth down and three. Going to go here and back around. Just a little rub route, and they got it. They had the rookie, Malcolm Butler, and that time, Hurst just could not hold on to it. Huge play. That is in scoring position, or your punter comes on the field, and here comes John Ryan. Julian Edelman sets up inside his own 10 yard line. Ooh, low snap. Picks it up and gets it away. Edelman says, stay away from it. And it bounds out of bounds at the 11 yard line. 24 14. You know, you look at the, the path that each of these teams took. Two and two was New England going into week five. They lost in Kansas City on that Monday night. The sky's falling. Seattle was 3 and 3 then they were 6 and 4 had that big meeting that began to turn things around. Yeah, and go figure. Here's a team what down 16 to nothing against the Green Bay Packers, but their defense hung in there so well all those turnovers in the first half to give them a chance to get to this game. And now their defense again delivering and Russell Wilson or Sean Lynch putting on a show as well. And New England knows what it's like to come from behind. They were down twice by 14 in the divisional round to the Ravens. They start this drive with Vereen taking the ball up to the 17 yard line for a short game. Chancellor makes the tackle. That knee seems to be fine playing with that brace today. Yeah, interesting here, Al, that now we're getting Shane Vereen in the backfield. They've been trying to pound it in there with LeGarrette Blunt, and here he comes back in the game now. But you wonder now as a play caller, is Josh McDaniels getting a little frustrated? Sometimes Vereen, I've seen him come in at the end of other games and give him a little burst. Maybe that he's thinking it may be time. Well, he's got Blunt. They also put the fullback in there, Devlin. And Brady off play action, throws, caught. It will be a gain close to a first down. Devlin makes the catch. He scored a touchdown in the AFC Championship game. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. Seahawks under Paul Allen, GM John Schneider. Paul Allen bought the team in 97. Started Microsoft with Bill Gates. Left there in 83. Made a ton of money, but he's been a phenomenal philanthropist. Microsoft all over the place here right now. And 
He's given away hundreds of millions, I think even billions of dollars to fight diseases, medical research facilities, and all of the rest. But kind of an under the radar guy who's now watched his team get to three Super Bowls in the last 10 years. Third and one. Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle Tafoya. 15 minutes to go in regulation. Third and one from the 23 yard line in a 10 point game. Blunt. Got him by the shirt tail. Can't get away. Tony McDaniel was able to bring him back. And that the putt on a fourth down. We don't talk about him much, but Tony McDaniel, Kevin Williams, right up the middle, the big guys, when you have to have a stop in a third and one situation, you have to get in the backfield to be able to slow down a LeGarrette Blunt. They got the job done there. Whatever happened to the tearaway jerseys? <laughs> Low line drive kick. Coming up to field it is Walters at the 31. And he gets tackled at the 35 yard line. All right, here we go. A little hard ball with Chris Matthews down the field. This is the one. This offense was stuck in the mud until Matthews made that play right before the half. Six seconds to go. Who do you throw it to? Of course, guy doesn't have a catch on here. And then down the field against Arrington, up, maybe a little push off, gets away with it. He has been the difference in the game. Finally jump starting that passing game. Rod Smith of the Broncos, most yards by an undrafted free agent. Matthews played those two years in Canada, was the rookie of the year in the CFL. So working in a, a sporting goods store selling shoes when Seattle called and said, get up here for a tryout. You can't October. make this up. Yeah, right. You cannot make this up from the 36 yard line. That's what we love about sports. Gain of three for Marshawn Lynch. Now I think you're starting to see some run blitzes here out of the New England Patriots. Here comes Jamie Collins. This is not expecting a pass. That is so they can clog up the middle against Marshawn Lynch and create some opportunities for the other linebacker there, Dante Hightower. To come over and help make the tackle. Second and eight. A little over a minute into the fourth quarter. Lynch. Oh, oh he gets popped. Branch is right there. Former Seahawk to make sure he goes nowhere. Third down. Big old Vince Wilfork. You run in there at your own risk. Just going to make a play. Look at trying to block that guy. JR Sweezy's had a nice game, but. Anytime you see Vince Wilfork, contact, arms fully extended. That means he's totally under control in there. And just stymied Marshawn Lynch. Wilfork and Brady, the two remaining guys from their last Super Bowl championship team in 2004. Third and seven. Wilson with a ton of time, and then all of a sudden, here through the middle comes Rob Ninkovich. Found the crease, gets in there, big sack. And happy birthday to Ninkovich. He's 31 today. Coverage sack here, Drell Rivas on the inside on Doug Baldwin. Maybe a chance there if that pressure really took a long time to materialize. You just wonder if Russell Wilson was probably looking on the outside there. Then Ninkovich, the old veteran, eight sacks on the year for the third straight year. And now the Patriots have got to get something going on the offensive side. Three sacks for the Pats. Ryan's kick collected at the 18. Edelman good run back out to the 33 yard line. The two TDs tying him with Montana all time at 11. Two interceptions and we're getting a little bit closer to serious crunch time. No doubt about it and for Tom Brady it has been a week of distractions. He's had good moments in this game. He's made some big mistakes. I'm sure, it's been tough to focus this week. Two full weeks. He starts from the 32. And he's going to get sacked. Everybody covered, and Bruce Irvin comes in to knock him down. Coverage. All over the field Richard Sherman who gave up the first pass of the game and that has been it Gronkowski 
when he ended up in one on one coverage against KJ Wright had a play but just nowhere to throw the football. Eight yard sack that's Seattle's first sack of the game Patriots have three second and 18 slings it to the outside to Brandon LaFell not a lot of room Sherman there. For Tom Brady, you know, I think it started out chronologically. He couldn't believe what the deal was the day after the Indianapolis game. Then he played a lot of defense the first week. Then they get here. He did that interview with Bob on Tuesday. Which where, looked a little. Right. He was all uncertain. over the place. But then he told you, as you look at Roger Goodell, he told you on Wednesday to your face. I, I said, Tom, look me in the eye and tell me you couldn't have possibly said anything to a ball boy, an assistant coach, somebody in their organization that would lead them to believe that you wanted air let out of that football and he said absolutely not he could not have been more emphatic third and 14 and Brady's going to step up fire over the middle oh. and it is taken by Edelman and Edelman was not down even though hit by Chancellor they're going to say that his knee touched but the officials are going to spot the ball inside the 40 yard line. What a great play here by Edelman. Chancellor hit him hard, and then the forearm looks to be down, so I think they're going to bring that one back. I think the knee was down, too. Forearm, elbow, knee. Yeah, We're going to get it all it. right yep. there. And now one official comes in and says, no, no, he's down. So they'll spot it at the 49, but that's still a, a first down, a gain of 21 on a third and 14. So... Very big play for the Patriots obviously clock ticking down to the 10 minute mark. First down at the 49. Hey, you run a route across the middle against this defense you do so at your own risk with Cam Chancellor in there. Brady has to dump it to Vereen. He swings to the outside skirts the sideline close to a first down before he's thrust out late hit flag on the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 29. They hit out of bounds. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Earl Thomas. And he played by Nate Solder here. Watch him set outside to invite Averill inside, which really sets the space for the screenplay on the outside to Shane Vereen. And there's Thomas. Knocking him down to get help as well. Earl number 29. Calling on him. Pats have it at the 27. Fake to Vereen. Brady going for six. Knocked away. Brandon LaFell, the intended receiver, and Farold Simon, who came in for the injured Jeremy Lane early and a guy they were picking on with the defense. Fantastic play by Therold Simon. Under so much pressure in this game, having to come in having to deliver gets his right hand on the ball just enough to feel a receiver on the outside great great play sometimes Al in these big games it's the guys you least expect right Absolutely. you've been playing that game all week who's going to be the surprise MVP oh Chris Matthews we all knew that didn't we <laughs> second and ten Vereen Cuts it back, takes it to the 25. We go to Michelle. Well, you mentioned how Jeremy Lane is out of this game, and now defensive end Chris Averill is out with a concussion. And remember, under the concussion protocol, the Madden rule prevents anyone diagnosed with a concussion from coming back out of the locker room. And even if they win this game, Al, Cliff Averill will not be able to talk to the media. Mm. Thank you, Michelle. There he is. You saw the play on which he was hurt. Ball of the 25. Clearly, they're already in field goal range. They spread it out here. So, at worst, they should, even with an incompletion, be able to make it a one possession game. But Brady looking for more. Stepping up, third and eight. Throws first down and more. Edelman takes the ball to the three yard line. They set up a first down and goal. And Edelman, bothered by a hip early in the game against Indianapolis, a little slow in getting up. Which I think this is DeMarcus Dobbs drops back in coverage and Brady brilliantly just waits for him to get on the other side of the defensive lineman 
Edelman, nice read, gets right across the backside there of Dobbs. Huge play. Ball just inside the five yard line. 820 remaining in regulation. Edelman has now caught 24 passes in the three postseason games. Vereen is the back. The fake to him. Brady Whoa. fires and incomplete. Edelman was backing up. Simon covering on the play. Incomplete second down. Oh my goodness, what a move by Julian Edelman here. Watch this one in, stop on a dime, back out, could not be more wide open, and Brady missed the throw. That's as open as you will ever get down on the goal line. No reason to hurry that one. That was game, set, and match. That was total victory for a wide receiver on the goal line. Blunt is back in. The fake to him. Brady dances, throws, and it will be caught. Amendola for the touchdown. So New England goes from a second and 18 after the first play on this drive to go 68 yards in nine plays and an extra point away from making it a three point game. Danny Amendola is poor as the last throw was from Brady. This one's that good. He just has to work on the other side of Earl Thomas. He sees it, throw it to the right shoulder. No way Thomas can get there. Woo! This <laughs> game is turning into something Ooh. here. We thought it would. You never know. So did the odds makers, oh, right? Yes. Toss up. Just about. Five catches for Amendola. The 48 yards. Gustavski for the extra point. We could be playing football all night tonight. Yeah. Even in overtime, they play until somebody wins. Tom with his three TDs tonight has now passed Montana. All alone is the guy throwing the most in the history of this game. A dozen. Gostowski's kick. A lucky run back. Glendale, Arizona, fourth quarter defense for these two teams. Seattle's last eight games, counting the two postseason games. They've allowed one touchdown, 13 points. They went the last six regular season games without allowing a point in the fourth quarter. And then the Patriots, very similar, have not allowed a touchdown in their last eight games, counting the two postseason games, just four field goals. Now, tonight, New England has scored here in the fourth, and we'll see what Seattle can muster up as they start this drive from the 20 yard line. Wilson off play action surveying ton of time and then the receiver falls down Lockett looks around he says where's the flag I got knocked down there is no flag second down well it looked like Butler trips here I don't know if they trip over each other's feet but then he reaches out and basically trips the receiver that should have been some sort of interference that was a, definitely an intentional act Got away with it. He did. Second down and 10. Trips left. Three receivers there. Lynch. Fighting. He's always fighting. To the 25 yard line, gain of 535. What makes Russell Wilson great? One, his escapability. Even when you think you completely have him under control. You don't have him under control. You've got him dead in your sights. You can't get a hand on him. And then the deep balls, high arcing throws, giving his receivers a chance. Those two components have been the difference here for the Seattle Seahawks so far. And as you get to this point in the game, Russell Wilson running the ball always becomes a big threat. And third and five, Wilson sliding right and then throws that one out of bounds. Lynch going down the sideline and incomplete, so it's a very fast three and not exactly what New England was looking for. Well, Lynch is going to do a little out and then up, and really he was wide open. Jamie Collins came underneath that little pick, but looked like Marshawn Lynch just sort of hesitated and stopped. Didn't really believe he was going to throw it to him, I guess. John Ryan. 
who's averaged 46 yards a punt. You see Amendola backing up as the short man. Points back to Amendola. He'll call for a fair catch and haul it into the 30. Robert Kraft bought the team in the mid 90s, turned a mediocre franchise into a juggernaut. His teams have gone to seven Super Bowls, including one with Bill Parcells. He's only hired two coaches. There's one of them. The other's on the other sideline. He inherited Parcells. There was Belichick with his defense. Of course, it's going to be a wild last seven minutes for the Kraft family and all Patriot fans and who knows what the next few weeks will hold. First things first. From the 36 yard line. Brady starts out of the gun. Vereen flanks him. Four man rush. Brady dumps. One handed grab by Vereen. Gain of eight yards. Bright and Chancellor are, are there. It'll be second down and two. Tom Brady really wanted to go to Gronkowski. Basically, they can pick a side because these corners don't flip. He looked out there and thought better of throwing it over to Richard Sherman's side and then got a brilliant catch from Vereen. It is Shane Vereen time in this game, and really that's when they were having success early when they were working that Edelman Vereen combination over the middle. Second and two. Brady to the outside. That's enough for a first down. There's Vereen. Chancellor makes the tackle and moves the sticks. First down to the 48. Well, that time Gronkowski knew it was man coverage, ran up the field, just made Cam Chancellor shuffle a little bit. And athletically, you like Vereen on Chancellor if you get that matchup. So we'll see if they come back to that. As we go down the stretch, each team will. It's full complement of timeouts. Chance of one on one on Gronkowski. Edelman out of the slot. Send it to him. Breaks a tackle. <laughs> then another. Takes the ball close to a first down. Julian Edelman, quarterback at Kent State. What a player. What a find this guy was. Seventh round draft choice in 2009. And he's strong and he's athletic. But the thing that I appreciate more than anything about him. Guy shows up at the complex at 5 a.m. every day. Studies, catches extra balls on the jugs machine. Does he's made himself a great player in this league? Under five minutes. Swing it out. Vereen, first down. Flag comes down. Vereen lost the ball, but he was down already. And we'll see about the call. Bill Vinovich, refing his first Super Bowl game. Only eight accepted penalties in the game. Pass interference. Offense number 11. Mm. Blocking downfield, partner to catch. 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. So the call is on Edelman. It backs. Uh, Actually, might be on, might be on Amendola. He yeah, said 11, I think but right here. Amendola. But here's what happened, Al. Because of the pressure. Brady had to lob that pass up over the top. So this is one of those design plays. We're going to go down the field and intentionally block thinking mm. that this pass is going to come out quickly. But because he had to lob it up the blocking got there too soon. So it's pass interference. Yeah, he just changed it. They did call it on Amendola. Bruce Irvin almost got a hand on it. So instead of second and one it's second and eleven. We got Sherman on LaFell. They haven't gone Sherman's way. They're staying away from him. Much as Aaron Rodgers did on opening night. Brady. And as he throws, caught by Gronkowski. And the big bull takes it to the 32 yard line. They're rolling the dice here. They're putting their big safety, Cam Chancellor, on Gronkowski. Earlier they got burned with KJ Wright. You want to go man coverage, and I think a little bit because Shane Vereen's been effective coming out of the backfield. It's had they've had to change up their secondary coverage a little bit and right now Josh McDaniels got it going with this play calling. Brady hung in under pressure. Ball to 32. Already within Gustafsky's field goal range. 
Brady will swing it out. Vereen. And there's Richard Sherman, whose girlfriend is pregnant. She's doing about two weeks, but she's here. He's ready to go to the hospital in uniform if need be. Yeah, and Richard was telling us that she said, you go play the Super Bowl. <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. I've got all that set up if something gets accelerated here. Look at that. Throwing that one time, once. Richard says, you know, it's everything I, I can do to keep from getting bored. Well, I'm going to guarantee he's not bored right now. Mm -mm. Second and ten. A little more than four to go. Brady fires caught first down and again they go to Gronkowski out at the 20 yard line. Al here it is again they're just telling Tom Brady this is man coverage he's off he's inside he's looking right at Gronkowski everybody in the building that knows anything about football knows that's man coverage and a thousand percent of the time now they are going to throw it right there when they get that look. Half a dozen catches for him. Now through the middle, big hole for Vereen, and he takes the ball to the 12 yard line. Bobby Wagner is there. You know, it's 3.20, you begin to think about using the clock. They're already in field goal range, but Seattle still has all of its timeouts. You still have the two minute warning. You're still going to have four opportunities to stop the clock. Uh, this is about scoring a touchdown Correct. right here. This is any way you can, no at any clock time management. You can. Not yet. Not yet. Three minutes to go. Second and three. Brady to the outside, caught, and that's what fell before he steps out of bounds. He is out of bounds at the six yard line, and that makes it first and goal with 2.52 on the clock. Now they finally come out of that man coverage and go a zone, but they are really lucky that. LaFell on that one couldn't get himself under control because I think he would have scored. Is reported as eligible. Seven one is an eligible receiver. You hear the announcement. Fleming comes in the tackle as an eligible receiver. 71. Earl Thomas play in the middle. Brady looking to the clock. Brady says I'll take a timeout. Play clock was all the way down to two. Tom will go to the sideline. First charge timeout. Tom Brady tonight has put it up 49 times. The 36 completions is a Super Bowl record. Crazy two weeks. Great game. Who knows what the immediate future will hold? You know, I think everybody, we know the ramifications of what Ted Wells' investigation is going to be. Somebody is going to come out of this with egg on their face. Either the Patriots, the league office, the people that have accused the Patriots, all that stuff's in play. But isn't it glorious just for these three or four hours Tell here me. that you can just enjoy a football game? Well, as the old coach John Madden always said, you know, a game breaks out. Yeah, and it broke out tonight. But there are, it is going to be big in the following month. Again, Fleming, an eligible receiver. Number 71, first and goal, the ball at the six. Devlin, the fullback, Blunt is the running back. Blunt, and Blunt powering his way to the three yard line. Stop there, gain of three, second down and goal. Now they're going to try and load up and go with the big power runner, even though it's basically been Vereen and the matchup problems that he has created that's gotten them down the field here. Under two and a half. Blunt out. Vereen in. Second and goal. Brady. Caught. Touchdown. Julian Edelman. Came back to it, Al. They came right back to it. Down, back out, 
worked brilliantly before. Brady missed the pass, come right back to it, and Edelman gets it done. No push off, no foul, no nothing, and Tom Brady takes him right down the field. And there again, they go to work on Therold Simon, who took the place of the injured Jeremy Lane. They picked on him early. He got his feet under him, played well for about a quarter and a half. They go back that way again and burn him. Dostowski for the extra point. And that makes it a four point lead. Meaning Seattle's going to need a touchdown. Last two New England drives. Nine plays for 68. Ten plays for 64. And the Kraft family, Robert and Jonathan. We've seen a few exciting games. Again, you've got a, a close game. Every Super Bowl that New England's played in since Belichick and Brady took over has been decided by four or less. Russell Wilson's been here before. Heck, he was down 16 nothing two weeks ago. I can't help but think of what Russell Wilson told us. He said, the minute I pulled that trophy down, I held it up in the air, and I pulled it down, and I started thinking about the next one. I started thinking about the next Super Bowl opportunity. He said he wanted six. He grew up remembering Michael Jordan holding up six fingers. Sure. He said, I'm looking for six. <laughs> the second one is going to be on his shoulders with two minutes to go. So 202. If the kickoff is a touchback, they're going to get a play before the two minute warning. Otherwise, the clock's going to stop. They have all of their timeouts. And Gustafsky will send that one deep into the night. So they will get one playoff before the two minute warning. That'll stop the clock and they'll preserve their three timeouts. Patriots overcoming a 10 point deficit. And again, we go back to Brady telling us yesterday there would not be a game I would want to win more than this one. Lynch gets flanked out. The empty backfield. Wilson down the sideline. Lynch makes the catch. And he'll get tackled by Jamie Collins. But that's a big gain, taking us to the two minute warning. They still have their three timeouts. What a call that was by Daryl Bevel. Russell Wilson saw Marshawn Lynch one on one against the linebacker Jamie Collins slant and go to a running back. That is confidence in the ability of not just Russell Wilson but Marshawn Lynch and a trust with the season on the line. Brilliant call brilliant throw. And now they're at midfield. Could this game be any better. Mm -mm -mm. 20 left too. 155. That was Lynch's first catch of the game. They blitz. Wilson fires, and that's incomplete. Intended for curse. Looks around for a flag. Gets none. Malcolm Butler, the rookie out of West Alabama, a free agent with the defense. Can you imagine what this rookie's thinking? And he could not have played this better. Perfect position. Going to come jump inside. Knock it away. Brilliant play. Mm -hmm. From the 49. Second and 10. Play clock at one. And now Wilson has to take a timeout. So they have three, so he takes one here. Play clock was all the way First down. First charge timeout. Seattle. 30 second timeout. You know what's interesting? 
is Chris Matthews, who's had the unbelievable game because teams work on packages of plays. And so when you get in the two minute offense, they've practiced with the guys that they have in there, Baldwin and Lockett and Curse. And so he hasn't been a part of this, you know, and yet if you've watched the game, you know, he's the one that sort of broke it open. Sure. Now he's coming in. He'll be a part of this next play here on second down and 10. Matthews has got four for 109 yards and a touchdown. Second and 10. Two timeouts now left for the Seahawks. Key guys on the field. Wilson, the tight end, has not caught a pass in this game. Deep drop. Ton of time. Going for it all. Knocked away. Browner is back there. There was Matthews and Brandon Browner who was a Seahawk last year but was suspended at the end of the season and had to watch the Super Bowl has a ring and then left for New England in free agency and go right up the seam here the Patriots came with a three man rush and they made this switch early and I think for Matt Patricia it's been a good one the jump balls now that you have a 6 4 cornerback are a little more fair a little more favorable for the Patriots third and ten. Blank Lynch again. Wilson hangs in there, throws. That's caught. That's going to be a first down. 38 yard line, Ricardo Lockett. And now they'll hustle up to the line of scrimmage, preserving the timeouts. Under a minute and a half to go. Well, we've seen when Logan Ryan has been in the game, the play right before the half. And now they're coming back to him. Lockett's a guy with brilliant speed, so Ryan has to be careful. Russell in the pocket. Russell for Curse, and that's broken up again. And is it? But somehow, oh, did he wind cow. up with a football? I think Butler hit it, and it fell right wow. back down it's to the ground. Unbelievable. Man. That's so, exactly what happened, isn't right. it? Well, Curse goes for it. <laughs> it's still not on the ground. It's still uh -oh. not on the ground. It's still. Well, look at that. Oh, my. Phenomenal. I can't believe he didn't get up and get in the end zone in time. And then Butler takes him out. So he breaks up the play. But at the end of the day, look at that. Does a juggling act. Has it to the five first and goal. 33 yards. And now by the time they get down there, the play clock has run out again. Second charge timeout. And Seattle takes a timeout. Seattle. Crazy. How many timeout. different plays are the Patriots going to have like this? Yep. Mario Manningham, David Tyree. Right. This was, and now a curse. This was where Tyree had the helmet catch. This was the scene of the crime for New England. And Tom Brady had that look on his face like, you've got to be kidding me, not again. Here you go back to Super Bowl 42. Tyree makes the catch. Our buddy Rodney Harrison had a bird's eye view. Plexigo Burris winds up with the touchdown to win the game and end what would have been a perfect season for the Patriots. They were 18 and 0 coming in. You know, Al, you oh. play 16 games, a couple of playoff games. And it comes down to one tip ball that falls on the ground to somebody who's lying on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Allen has seen it all, but not that. Look at that. But they're not in yet. And there's Deron Harmon who comes over the top. He had a chance to maybe kick it away. Curse comes up with it. Yeah. Amazing. The now, ball at the five. Now you have to stop Marshawn Lynch. Here he goes. Beast mode to the half yard line. And now New England has to think about taking a timeout. Boy, the last time we called a Super Bowl, Al, remember? Ahmad Bradshaw. Do you let him score? Yep. Do you put the ball back in the hands of Tom Brady? And I guarantee you, Bill Belichick is sitting here thinking about it right now. It's on his mind. It has to be. Do you bleed the clock all the way down? They're bleeding it right down, down to a half a minute. Second and goal. Baldwin sets up on the left. 
Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Malcolm Butler, who almost made the phenomenal play that wound up in Percy's arms. There are flags on the field for a celebration. Amazing. Butler, a rookie free agent out of West Alabama. They try to pick play, Al. They tried to go here, but he beats them to the punch. And I'm sorry, but I can't believe the call. Me neither. I cannot believe the call. You've got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. You've got a guy that's been borderline unstoppable in this part of the field. I can't believe the call. And there is Brady. <laughs> As demonstrative as ever, and Richard Sherman going, what? I agree with you. I mean, what, why make that call? You're down on the half-yard line. There's unsportsmanlike conduct against the New England Bengals after the interception. The penalty would be half the distance of the goal. New England keeps the ball. First down. Well, it's, it's half the distance of the goal, which is next to nothing. And now Seattle had to use two timeouts so they can only stop the clock once. And barring complete insanity, and I mean complete, I, I don't it's believe it's going to be a win it. for the Patriots. I, I, I'm sitting here and I absolutely cannot believe that play call. I, I, if, if I lose the Super Bowl because Marshawn Lynch can't get it in from the one yard line, so be it. Mm -hmm. So be it. But there is no way. I, I, I don't believe the call. You know, you think you've got it. You think you understand. Other team practices, too. It's now barring a, a fumbled snap. Well, let's see. Brady's got to be able to get the ball out of the end zone. Otherwise, it would be two points, and they'd have to have a free kick from the 20. That's Seattle's first Second turnover of the game. Out. New England. They can figure out a way. Well, Brady's so good at the sneak. Just take it and start plowing forward. Just make sure you don't wind up with the ball in the end zone. So you got the pick play, all right. It's a, you know, you think you're going to have it. You think, but why? Uh, you know, how about Malcolm Butler? Gives up the fluke play down the field. Looks like he's going to be partly responsible and makes an incredible play. You got to get it out of here, though. Yep. And, and Belichick would say, make sure these guys fire off. Look at everybody inside. Well, Seattle ready to oh, jump up now, goodness. of all things. If they jumped off and weren't drawn, that'll take them to the six yard line, but the officials will confer. Michael Bennett jumps off sides more than anybody else 10 times this year. And in this critical last chance moment, he does again. Unless he was drawn. Encroachment. And he wasn't. Defense number 72. Five yard penalty. Go first down. Give Brady credit. He just drew them. They were going total scrum in behind. And Bill Belichick knows after all the heartbreak, we saw it, Al. Tyree, Mario Manningham, fluky plays. This time, after all the stuff of these two weeks. And then a scrum, of course. Here you go, flags. Oh. So you'll have an ugly ending to what was a pretty terrific ball game. Well, a lot of frustration out there. And, and the guys in blue. You know, yep. from Seattle's standpoint, whatever. From New England's standpoint, you're 18 seconds away from a Super Bowl championship. You don't throw a punch at anybody here.
Gronkowski no, takes a shot from Bennett, Bennett, who I'm sure is frustrated. Then Gronkowski throws one back, and here we go. <laughs> Every once in a while in the NFL, you think you've seen it all? No, you haven't. I, I, I will never get over throwing Third. the ball in and that situation. Seattle. Neither will uh, After the play. Seahawk fans. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Instigator number 51. He's been ejected. 15 yard That's penalty. Automatic first down. That is Bruce Irvin. You know, think about Butler. This kid is a free agent. Played at a smaller school. He's from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Played at West Alabama. Pat signed him last May. Transferred from Hines, Mississippi Community College. Super Bowl hero. And Al, you could tell he had done his homework. He saw the pick play coming. The minute his receiver came inside, he fired. If there was anything else on, he wasn't going to get there. He was going to give up the game winning touchdown. But he did his homework and he fired his shot and made the play of the year. So the Patriots on the cusp of making it four in the 21st century. Belichick's already taken the shower. His team down by 10 in the fourth quarter. Bob Kraft and Jonathan Kraft are already down there. And one kneel down should end the game. What a journey. Well the sky was falling in early October. There's a lot of bright sunshine right now in Foxborough and all over New England. And after the wackiest lead up. To a Super Bowl ever. The New England Patriots. Are the NFL champions.